gonna be tricky to hear me because Brian's coming. Okay, this is day 15 already. Plan is get down from the mountains and get back um, to a lake. So maybe, well, hopefully Lake Garda. We haven't booked a hotel. We're worried we're gonna regret that. But the reason why is with a lot of these mountain roads, it will say only two hours to wherever and it takes you like six hours. It, it is a bigger trip to Lake Garda than we have been doing up in the mountains. Two weeks in now, it's just kind of the mountain ridings. Oh, that has been spectacular. It's not exactly relaxing riding with the views and the actual riding is very, very physical. You're going in like gear one or two. And yes, I know there are other people going like 100 miles an hour down these things but you know i'm a newbie and even if i wasn't i wouldn't be going fast because i have too much to see but yesterday i did i was gutted because i think so what so where i normally carry the gopro is here on my chest and because we're in the mountains i thought oh we'll angle it upwards but then it cuts out all the front of the bike and i think it looks so much better with my headlights you know you, you want the chrome well i do at least and then looking at it i've just cut all that out except my mirrors so i'm a little bit gutted so today hopefully i'll be a bit better with that but look at that isn't it spectacular oh i just stared at it all day it's kind of misty today um that well i don't think it's mist i think that's cloud see all the cloud well we've got lots more mountains to see and then lakes hopefully we'll see and then i've got two eat lots <laughs> which I'm really happy about as well although it's getting harder and harder to take a picture because my jump takes next stop coffee some drone footage the mountains are incredible today but they um you see how the cloud is hanging over them so they don't make i don't think that we're going to get good photos i could be wrong but we're going to send the drone up and see what happens but look at this it's incredible so that was fun we went the wrong way <laughs> all the way down a mountain and then it, the sat nav sent us back. These roads, they are quite tricky because you've got the bikes, you've got buses, trucks, camper vans. Everyone's trying to overtake or they're just going different speeds. People are looking up at the mountains. Um, so the bicycles, they come quite fast down the hill. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, another phone. No. <laughs> Uh, so they come quite fast and it's dangerous because especially around the switchbacks because they're blind corners and people are just going totally different speeds so you could come around the corner and there's a car a truck a whatever or a bicycle you just don't know so uh it's a little bit tricky a little bit dangerous especially when people are overtaking luckily it is reasonably slow speeds so we haven't seen any disasters touch wood touch wood <laughs> i can't reach any trees touch wood but yeah fun ride really fun i mean some of them the roads go it's like a roller coaster the most of these really tight switchbacks are in like well brian's in first gear i'm in second and letting the bike slow us down not just the brakes we are going slow, but it's it's so fun. Really, really recommend it. Uh, lots and lots and lots of sports bikes here. Lots of women riding pillion, not many women riding their own bikes. There are some, but 
lots of women around, which is nice, but the, as I said, they're pillion. But th what's good is that they always wave to me. That's fun. Problem there. What's wrong? Bus can't get through. Oh, so the buses all come through oh. and, oh, a whole load of buses. And then if there's a car coming up, they'll just like kind of, they have to go diagonally around the bend. They just block the whole, the whole thing up. And then yesterday we, we were coming up a really steep part lots and lots of people and uh, the bus had just decided to stop to let all the passengers have a look at the view even <laughs> it is exhausting riding these man this particular pass the one we were on two days ago there was there was hardly anyone there it was really quiet that one was easier in terms of not having to worry about all the people you can see where you're gonna go and it doesn't look very far yet it takes you ages because it, I think you know it's like your intestines isn't it they're longer than you think because they're all squiggled up but anyway how, how do I get onto intestines I'm going bye ah. roadworks hang on <laughs> okay, he's, he's not waving now. He's very serious. Ugh. Seriously, guys, like 15 minutes. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Finally! I got a smile at least. We're discussing lunch again. Because Caroline can't go long on an empty tummy. I just talked about myself in the third person. What a knob, who does that? <sighs> me, me, obviously.
amazing this place is. Hopefully for lunch. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if anything else has fallen out my bag. Oh, look at this. Isn't it amazing? What a difference a few a few kilometers make, yeah. Cold <laughs> one moment. And the next you have those mountains in the background. And you're absolutely boiling out. Oh, you're just looking for a hotel room. Okay. Um, somewhere near Lake Garda. We need a pool or to swim in the lake because it's hot. Own private beach. So oh. We can clear the water is too. Oh. It was so hot that we uh, we just jumped straight in. It was beautiful, beautiful water. It was a lovely ride, but a lot of the the coastal road just goes through tunnels. And then it gives you like these little snippets of beauty. I can't get over these lakes, really. Oh, lakes, mountain, lake, mountain, lake, mountain. Like, why would you leave? 